As you get more in depth with studying the wild turkey and listen to the vocabulary of the hen turkey, you'll realize that there's a wide range of calls. And there's clear hen turkeys and there's deep raspy old hen turkeys, young turkeys, old turkeys. They're, they all have uh, their own unique voice, kind of like humans do. So don't be afraid to try different calls in different situations. On a windy day, you may want to go to a glass call and reach out and, and, and touch them and locate them. A slate call, maybe on a more a quiet day, if you're in closer, you might want to get a little softer. Uh, be able to cluck and purr more on a slate call versus a glass call. All that will be dictated to you by what kind of conversation you're having with a, with a hen turkey. Try to reproduce the one that you're talking to. That, that's a very effective tip. If whatever she's doing, you do, and uh, sort of challenge her with that. But the reason that there are so many different types of calls out there, and, and every hunter should have those calls, is that it's very simple, that there are that many different types of turkeys. So don't be afraid to experiment. Uh, learn about the wild turkey. Learn her, her language, her voice, and then try to reproduce everything you hear from one end of the spectrum to the other.